Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about something that a lot of players have been upset about. But before I begin, I just want to say that I'm not trying to attack Foxy Ventures in any way, and you can completely disagree with others' opinions, including mine. With that being said, let's just get started on why players are upset. So with the new update of the Crimson Gallop that just came out, a lot of players have been upset about the whole season pass. So the reason why they're upset about the season and premium pass is because that it costs $20, which is pretty crazy in my opinion. And a lot of people think that the rewards that you get aren't worth $20. And I also agree with that. So that was pretty upsetting. I mean, we have like the free pass and then there's also the premium season pass or whatever it's called. So I think $20 was a lot. And another thing that they mentioned in this whole Instagram debate that was going on is that in general, Horse Riding Tales is a very pricey game because gems, like 5,000 gems, cost what? Like $100? Yeah, it's $100, right? They also mentioned that though there's like a lot of adults and teenagers who play Horse Riding Tales, there's still a lot of kids who play the game and some of these kids don't have their own credit card so they rely on their parents to buy gems. And what I think is like the issue about that is that a lot of parents don't want to spend so much money on a digital game. They want them to spend real money on things that can actually like help their lives. So I understand the frustration for the parents as well. And I think with like Star Equestrian and stuff, everything is very expensive because in Star Equestrian, there's still, there's like this gem pack thing that's like another $100. And there is like a whole community for Star Equestrian now. So a lot of people buy that, buy those gems. But I feel like a lot of players can't afford that much okay so if i was working at foxy i would lower down the prices for like the highest gem deal like let's say 5,000 gems i would lower it to 60 dollars which is still high but i feel like you would get more people to buy it and it would be better for the audience and the company because the more people who buy it in the long run the more money you get and i'm it's kind of deep, but I feel like that's every single game's goal to get money, right? So, I think that that would be a better idea. But with Night Angel and stuff, like those top clubs, they buy gems on like on a weekly basis, right? So, they also get money from them, so it's really difficult. But yeah, that's just what they thought and what I thought. But of course, we have a side that disagrees. And because this was a debate, of course, we have people who agree and disagree. This side of the community said that they think that Foxy Ventures isn't getting enough money. And I could see that happening, but I feel like the reason why they don't get money is because of how pricey everything is. But as I said before, we have clubs that buy gems on like a weekly basis. So do they get money? Do they get enough money? It's kind of questionable, but this is just a really difficult situation. And I think the reason why this happened is because of the premium pass. And of course, um, before the premium pass came out, people were already complaining on how expensive gems got. Because I remember when I joined, gems were like $60. So I don't even know if they might have been cheaper. I don't remember, but I joined in 2019. So everything was just so much cheaper, but they raised the prices and... All I remember is it was so much easier to like get gems and I would buy them a lot. But now I don't buy them much because of the ridiculous prices. But honestly, I'm kind of in the middle. I don't want to join any sides, but for now I feel like I'm joining the side that is disappointed. <laughs> but of course, I I'm in the middle and I'm I don't want to move, okay? I'm well, that will be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!